If you are only doing one floor of the bunker, then you want to do floor three because it gives you the most tickets and it also has the blind one in it, which is your best source for tickets. When doing the third floor, you are going to want to bring a saw blade mace, a skull crusher, a machete, and six crowbars because you're going to be doing the wall trick a lot. You are also going to want to bring five to eight stacks of food depending on how good you are at the wall trick. If you guys have not seen my video on how to master the wall trick, make sure you do it because the better you are at the wall trick, the less food and armor you will have to use. So when you get started, open and sneak at the same time and then kill this guy and then come over and get these two guys to come over to this door. At this time, you can split them up and kill the fast spider without having the floater bloater hit you. And you wanna move him a little closer so that you can use the wall trick on him. Then you're gonna to wanna to switch to your skull crusher and get a sneak attack at the maximum range with this toxic spitter and then you want to switch to your saw blade mace and get a sneak attack on this toxic abomination then you'll want to switch over to your crowbar and use the wall trick on this guy after that get these guys to follow you over to this wall so that you can use the wall trick on them then bring this frenzy giant over to this door and use the wall trick on him. If you are really bad at the wall trick and you can't do it on most doors, then save all of the frenzy giants until the very end. And then you can use the door that I suggest in the wall trick video to kill all the giants at the end. Then switch to your skull crusher and get a sneak attack on this guy. And then you can switch to your crowbar and kill this guy. After that, you wanna equip your saw blade mace and get a sneak attack on this guy. And then you bring him over to do the wall trick on this door. After that, lure these guys over to kill them with your crowbar, or if you have the proper modifications for your machete, then I recommend using that instead. Then switch to your skull crusher and get a sneak attack on this guy, and then move to your saw blade mace and get a sneak attack on this toxic abomination. After you get the sneak attack, you can just switch to your skull crusher and finish him off because the nearest door is pretty far away. After that, get a sneak attack on this guy, and then bring both of them over to do the wall trick on this door right here. After that, you can come over here and kill these guys with a crowbar or again a modified machete then you can go ahead and open this terminal but then i recommend going down here getting a sneak attack with your saw blade mace on this frenzy giant and then doing the wall trick to finish him off then you can open this door and get these two guys to chase you the further you run the more you're able to split them up then use the wall trick on this toxic abomination to finish him off. After that, you can get a sneak attack on this frenzy giant. Though he may get a hit off you, it's hard to avoid that. Then use the wall trick on him on this door or any other door that might be easier for you. After that, you cannot sneak up on this frenzy giant, but you can use the wall trick. Then switch back to your skull crusher and you can get a sneak attack on this guy at the maximum range. And then you can finish this guy off with the crowbar or again, a modified machete. Then come around here and get a sneak attack on this frenzy giant you need to make sure you did the maximum range so he didn't get a sneak attack on you and then use this wall to finish him off then come around to the back side of this guy to get a sneak attack on him and then use this wall for him as well then bring this frenzy giant over to this wall again if you're not that good at the wall trick then i recommend bringing him just one door back but my research team member here is kind of showing off about how he can do the wall trick on any door of the bunker after that you cannot sneak up on this frenzy giant but you can use the wall wall trick right here. After that, get a sneak attack on this guy and then bring them over here for another wall trick. Then move slowly in this room and get a sneak attack on this guy. In this door, you want to open it while you sneak so that you can get a sneak attack on this guy at the maximum range. And then after you kill the toxic spitters, then you can use the wall trick on this guy. And then use your skull crusher to get a sneak attack on him. It's really important that you kill him with your sneak attack because even though you're not in range, he will trigger the other guy if you don't kill him in one shot then go ahead and open this terminal and then come get a sneak attack on this toxic abomination and then lead him over to do the wall trick after that bring this toxic abomination down to this door to finish him off and then get a sneak attack on this frenzy giant he'll often get a hit on you but then you can use the wall trick right here after that you can get a sneak attack on this guy and then bring him over to do the wall trick and then after that you can do a sneak attack on this guy which does end up activating everyone but if you do it and that particular guy on that particular angle and it makes it pretty easy for you to run away and then use the elevator to reset everyone after that you can do another sneak attack on this guy and no one will notice 
And then lastly, you can sneak attack this guy, which will still activate everyone, but you only have one toxic spitter chasing you. It's easy if you run far enough to split them up so you can kill the toxic spitter before any of the toxic abominations get to you. And then at this point, you can use the wall trick. You gotta split them up a little bit, but you can end up using the wall trick to kill all three of them. And then after that, you can come here and kill these toxic spitters. You can just use a crowbar, or again, if you have a machete with a, the proper modifications, then you can use that. And then once you finish these guys, you have completed the third floor and you can loot everything on the floor. So after completing the third floor, you should end up with something like this. You can see we did not use nearly as much food as we brought because we used the wall trick so well. We did end up using all of our armor. So if you are not quite as good at the wall trick, then you might need to bring an extra set of armor. And then this loot, of course, does not count any of the chest in the bunker. So make sure to go through all of the chest and get all of that loot and take it home. Well, that's it guys. If you have not checked out Kafir's more advanced game called Frostborn, I highly recommend that you check it out. It has better graphics. It has more intuitive skills. It has true multiplayer and all of that together makes the game a lot more dynamic and a lot less likely to get bored of it as you do events more often. If you're new to Last Day on Earth, keep playing this, keep doing it. You're going to have a lot of fun, but after you start to get bored of it, make sure to check out Frostborn because it is Kafir's more advanced game and it is a lot more fun. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helps. I make videos on all kinds of games, but every Friday I make an extremely high quality video for all gamers of all games. Sometimes those are exhaustive overview guides of new games that I think you should try. And sometimes I talk about a gaming concept with the hope that it blows your mind. If that interests you, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on those. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.